Hi, so I'm talking about a more negative topic today. I just wanted to talk about how I deal with hate because I know a lot of smaller content creators are getting hate for no apparent reason, so I thought talking about it would be appropriate. Before I started YouTube, YouTube was so glamorized that I didn't know there was any hate involved in it whatsoever. It was only once I started creating my own content that I started getting hate and it's definitely been interesting to deal with and get over. I am an idiot, but I just thought I'd share. I don't usually get hate in real life, so it's very different for me. So first of all, there are dislikes, which are a form of hate. Honestly, dislikes have never bugged me because it's kind of just people hating who are too afraid to really say something or give a valid reason to hate, or maybe they just don't want to say something. But to be honest, dislikes really just help with the YouTube algorithm, and it does the exact same thing as a like, so, so honestly, people who dislike videos on your channel are helping you more than people who don't interact with your video at all. And what I mean by that is when a viewer comments or likes, it's viewer interaction, which basically just helps with the YouTube algorithm. So say you get mass disliked, it's most likely a bot, so don't really worry if that happens to you. Just take the boost in the YouTube algorithm, I guess. Just don't let it bother you in general because it actually helps you a lot. However, if you get like an entire community hating on you, that's a different problem. Maybe then you messed up a bit, but if it's just like 1 in 50 people or 1 in 20 people hating you, it doesn't really matter, shouldn't affect you. So then I think the larger issue with toxicity on YouTube, I guess, is the comments. It's the stuff that might actually get to some people. First of all, these again help with the YouTube algorithm. Any interaction just helps. And secondly, how I deal with hate comments as a general thing. If if I notice a certain word commonly said within hate comments, I'll block the word on my channel, which puts the comment that uses the word automatically into the held for review section. For example, I've blocked the word simp so stuff isn't toxic because I know a lot of people would say, oh, you only have subs because of simps or something like that. And it's just useless to read stuff like that. Okay. And then thirdly, if you see someone constantly harassing you, so I've had some people who just really, really dislike me, you can hide the user from your channel, say you don't see any of their comments. So that's helped me a lot. I did not almost just jump off. And I don't know, all this stuff just really helped me a lot and I don't think a lot of people know of it. Wow, I can't believe I successfully did that. Okay, GG. Okay, second game. I want to talk more about the types of haters now. So firstly, there is the kind of patronizing and passive aggressive person. And this is kind of when people condescend you in a way. Honestly, most of my haters are kind of condescending in a way in that they gave me hate for not really knowing how to PvP. But I know everyone says just ignore it, but genuinely, they're not worth your time. Like, I don't care if people call me bad. I've accepted it as a fact and it's just not worth the pain to bother with it. I'm an idiot. Also, if you haven't noticed, I'm recording this on a completely separate day because I didn't want to play the other day. But like, getting everyone to like me and being good at a block game is not my priority, so I just let people waste their time patronizing you because as long as you show it doesn't get to you, they get nothing out of it and it really says something about them when they take the time to write a mean comment to a Minecraft YouTuber in my case. I don't know, it just astounds me how people will hate on people playing Minecraft. An iron sword, this is so sad. For example, I've had people say stuff along the lines of like, the way you strafe is so funny to me in like a very condescending, patronizing way. And it, that's not really a specific comment, but I've seen a lot like it. And the comment is pretty true, but I usually just accept it because there's no point in denying something that isn't true in my case. And if the comment's not true, then you know it's not true. There's no point in defending yourself to an idiot. <laughs> so yeah, I usually just ignore comments which kind of make fun of my PvP because I don't 
care. What the comments say do absolutely nothing to me. Like, it's not like them saying that I suck at PvP will automatically make me better at PvP, so what's the point? There's the person that straight up insults you, maybe? Which is kind of similar to the previous one. Well, not necessarily, but it's more straightforward. So, in my opinion, the people who straight up insult, most of the time, I'm not saying this is always the case, but they might have insecurities about themselves. That's what I've seen, at least, and they really have nothing better to do with their lives than point out every flaw in everything they see. So, I'm just gonna say, if you're a content creator, not everyone is gonna like you. You just gotta deal with people who really have nothing better to do than insult you to be honest it makes you a stronger person i feel i can handle people hating on me pretty well and i'm honestly pretty proud of that i've grown a lot since i've become a lot less sensitive and i don't know it's just cool so for example i've had i know a specific comment i just ended up hiding the user because i didn't really want to deal with it but they said your voice is just so dash you buy in all caps and just the way this comment was typed makes me think this person is a valley girl or something wait no that's bad i shouldn't stereotype it. but anyways i don't understand why people would express their opinion like this so bluntly and rudely and unnecessary like sure you can have your own opinion but i mean it's just spreading unnecessary negativity. I guess that's what people on the internet aim to do. I'll admit, my voice is one of my insecurities, but other people are so kind about it, I can't help but successfully ignore the comments that hate on it. I mean, not everyone's gonna like you, that's just how life works. I think another comment of just straight up bluntness was someone saying these clips are hot trash, and it was actually on a really awful edit I made. Like, granted, they were hot trash, but I don't know, it's just so rude and unnecessary. I responded with something I'm not proud of, but at the time I was very proud of it. I just responded with as long as they're hot, and I took pride of that for so long, especially since it was a Fortnite YouTuber that had said that comment. Yeah, I don't know why I went in tangent about all that, but yeah, I just, I don't know, finding a way to laugh at those comments are just really helpful. They're the pessimists, these types of haters, just see the world kind of darkly so they'll always see the worst in your channel. But honestly, I don't really blame them, but just don't listen to them and focus on the positive. Sometimes they're not trying to hate, but don't give them hate just because they see all the darkness. It's so cheesy, but yeah. So for example, if someone commented like Bed Wars is dying, I mean, sure, it's not a specific hate comment towards you, but it's the implication that your channel would kind of die. And a lot of the time that would be demotivating or taken as hate. Well, not a lot of the time, but with certain people. And to be honest, that specific comment is true more or less, but you can't really do anything about it, so just continue doing what you enjoy. I guess moral of this video is you just have to ignore haters, there's no point. And then I've had a lot of people comment like, you sound dead, you sound depressed. To be honest, this isn't necessarily hate, but I think some people might be commenting it in the connotation of being hate. That did not make sense, but whatever. Usually, I just ignore them. I think sometimes they don't mean any harm. It's, to be honest, pretty true. I do sound pretty lifeless. I kind of used that form of hate and made fun of myself with it. I don't know if that made any sense, but I don't know. I just get a lot of hate for being monotone and lifeless. So I made fun of myself by naming every video with monotone in it for a, a little period of time because legitimately that was what it was and I didn't really take offense to it, even though I think a lot of people meant to hate. I don't know, I just don't really care too much. There's the hater that's really jealous. In everything that you do, people will be jealous of your success and just try to pull you down to their level, but ignoring them makes you the bigger person. You're not involving yourself in drama, and it makes the hater angry since you continue, in a way, being above them and you show that they're not worth your time. It's just a real power move, you know? So if someone said like, you think you're so cool since you have subs, lmao, you can't do anything. I mean, that's not a specific example, but that's just what I'd picture with a jealousy comment. Or you just have subs because you're a girl, that's also a common jealousy comment. Yeah, I think it's very reasonable that I would see that as a comment. There's sometimes people 
backtalking, which are people saying stuff about you when they think you won't see it maybe. So for example, one time on Twitter, someone posted a Twitter longer, essentially discrediting females who posted solo commentaries and saying they only get subs because they're a girl. And this one dude called me out for it and said, the first person I think of is gays is, it sounded like she's always at a funeral and that I played on a 1980s computer. And I'll admit, at the time, that comment hurt a lot. But then I kind of realized, well, yeah, it's true. I do play on a laptop and there's nothing I can do about that. People shouldn't make fun of me for not having the same equipment that everyone else has, like maybe someone just wouldn't have the money. And I am monotone, I do sound lifeless a lot of the time, that's just how I am, there's nothing I'm gonna do about it or can do about it. I don't want to try and be overly energetic because that would just be fake. I'm monotone. If people are gonna hate on you for something that's out of your control, then what kind of a person does that make them? Just think of it from that perspective, maybe. There's a deflator, so for every bit of success you have, they'll find a way to deflate it, but a lot of people are gonna hype you up anyways. I don't know, having more supporters than haters is just something you have to remember. There will always be haters and you have to ignore it and know I'm an idiot, oh my gosh. You just have to know that there will always be more people supporting you than hating you unless you really messed up somewhere. Sorry for repeating the word ignore a lot. That's the idea I'm trying to convey right now, but I don't know, I'm repetitive in everything, that's just my habit. I just got three tapped. Okay. So for example, for the deflator, they'd say maybe it's only 10k subs, you're a puny YouTuber, blah blah blah. I don't know. That's just a random comment I came up with. I don't know. Just don't let people ruin your spirits. You're just trying to live your life, live your best life. There's the instigator, which is similar to a lot of these. Like a lot of these examples of haters have a lot of similarities to them, but the instigator, they specifically give you hate to get a reaction out of you. So for example, if they said, lol, you suck, um, it's really vague and what they say is pretty useless. They just say it to get a reaction out of you. So if you don't give a reaction, then they just wasted their time. They want you to argue with them. I guess they're like YouTube trolls. They just enjoy it, but to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if they wasted their time a lot if they're trying to instigate you, but just ignoring the comments that try to instigate you is for the best. If you continue the argument over a stupid comment like that, you just waste your time arguing against an idiot. Pretty sure those were all the main types of haters. This was in no particular order and not very clear. My notes that I wrote down for this commentary are very, very vague, but yeah, I'm sorry if this made no sense, but I guess I'll talk more about me getting hate. I almost never let hate show that it gets to me, even though sometimes it does. I'm saying that so hopefully people know that if hate does get to them, they're not alone in that. You don't always have to play strong and say that the hate comments don't get to you. I just say don't show it to the viewers. But if you need to talk to a friend about it, I'm sure they'd be happy to comfort you. I'd say the only time I fought back against hate is if it's someone I know. I'm a bit headstrong sometimes and when it comes to hate, a bit arrogant because I've realized since I started YouTube that haters a lot of the time really have no life, like even less of a life than me. So it's all good. I try to handle hate pretty peacefully and it's worked out pretty well for me. I think because of hate, I'll probably be more prepared for hate in the real world and in that sense, I'm grateful for it. I'm glad it's random people online that I get to learn from so I don't make a fool of myself in real life. And thank you haters for motivating me to try to be successful. Like a lot of the time, motivation can be out of hate or hardships and in my opinion, this kind of motivation can be pretty corrupt sometimes, but in this case, I think it's fine. So thank you haters. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm stuck in the wall, oh dear. GG. Okay. Nice. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.